Hey, what's up, YouTube? Keep on rocking, as always. Um, check this out. I was going to go live because I wanted to make a really quick video, a couple minutes of these posters I, I got, and I got uh, framed. I wanted to show you. Very fucking rare. One really rare band you'll never see fully autographed, and another one is a popular band from an era that's not popular. Uh, it's fully autographed, both of them. But, yeah, it says I needed to be verified, which I already was. 50 followers. You tell me. I can't join anybody's live uh, you know, thing if I wanted to, or even do a live video, apparently. It says 24 hours, but I guess we'll see. So, check it out. I'm going to flip it around, and I'll show you what I got. Uh, look at this. Sleazebees, the Dutch glam and hair metal band um, from, you know, late 80s, early to mid 90s. And it has fully autographed. There's the only member I remember, Andrew L., the only blonde guy in the group, <laughs> was their second and most famous singer. But you can see it has... It's all fully autographed. Um, it has a screw blue and tattooed on Atlantic Records cassette. Um, and I wish it would also make Power Tool. I want Power Tool to be on vinyl, but we'll see what happens. Next up is one everybody would love to have. as the Metalheads. And that's Testament Low. Fully autographed, low lineup. You have James Murphy, Chuck Billy, John Tempesta. He didn't sign up, but I'll get back to it in a second. Um, Greg Christian on bass, you know, Eric Peterson on, um, uh, guitar. You can see right there, 1994. But it was signed also by John Dett, the touring drummer at the time. He was also played with, um, the likes of Anthrax and Slayer and a bunch of countless other famous bands. He's basically the, uh, faceless drummer that, uh, they use for tours. <laughs> so that's fully autographed, both of those. So I thought I would show you. I wanted to do a live, um video but as i said it wouldn't let me do it i just got him back tonight so uh michael's had a 70 percent off deal going on and um they have until the end of the week next week and i might i don't have any more signed stuff but i have some band posters maybe i'll do it but it is expensive but with 70 percent off it was basically half price so of what somebody else wanted to do it for so can't beat that up or beat that up whatever can't beat pass that up can't beat it that's what i wanted to say and they also have one at Christmas time, so I might have to wait until then. So anyway, that's what I wanted to show you. Pretty cool posters. What do you think of these posters? Uh, I haven't hung them, obviously, and I'm, I don't want to fuck it up, so we'll see what happens. Probably will put them downstairs with the rest of my music. So anyway, I hope you had a great St. Patrick's Day weekend. Stayed uh, sober. Well, not necessarily, but stayed out of trouble, put it that way. So I, I stayed home like always. Had a Guinness, of course. So anyway, I have another video coming soon. I don't know if I'll do one tonight or tomorrow or the next couple days, but it's already lined up. So thanks for watching. Keep on rocking as always. Peace out.